Hi students, so welcome back. We are going to be using those awesome pictures of those uh, clay pots uh, from the lesson. And what we're going to do is we are going to draw our own clay pot. Now there are many different styles, some fancier than others, uh, but you're going to pick one that you want to draw. And then what we're going to focus on are the really cool patterns. All right, so first we're going to draw a line straight down. This will help us make the clay pot symmetrical. Symmetrical, just again to remind you, is when it's the same on both sides. So I'm going to try to make the shape of the pot here the same as is here. All right, so first off, I'm going to draw the top. Okay, it's going to be the about the same on each sides. Now, I'm gonna draw its shape. I want mine to curve out and get really big down here, like that. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw that to my best ability, the same shape on the other side. And no, it's not gonna be perfect, guys. Don't worry about it. It being perfect, it's not important. Just try your best, that's all I can ask. All right, there we go. There's the shape of my pot. Now I'm gonna give it some of those cool handles that you often see. Just like this. And that's just a quick sketch. All right, now we are going to get rid of that middle line. Say goodbye, because we don't need that anymore. And now, oops, dropping paint. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to come up with our patterns. So on mine, I really like some of the cool zigzag patterns. And so what I'm first gonna do is I'm going to put lines to break up the space. Okay, so I'm going to put one pattern here, one here, one here, one here, and then one here, just like that. Because I want to be able to have my patterns go all the way around. So some of your patterns can be super simple. For example, they could just be lines going up and down. Okay. So there's one pattern at the top of my vase. I could also, if I wanted to, make some of those lines big and fat while some of them skinny. So you see that? I'm skipping a line and making some of them big and fat and some of them skinny. That is how we make a pattern. All right, so I'm gonna darken in the top now, now that I'm done with that. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to my next pattern. I want some kind of a zigzag for this one. So I'm gonna make a pattern that looks almost like it's a Z. Just like that. So I'm gonna go and just copy it. Looks like a big Z. And then we're gonna go back. I'm gonna copy it again. Just like this. See, mine's not perfect. Yours won't be either, and that's okay. All right. So it looks similar to each other. Okay. In that one, yet again, I'm going to finish this area now. That one, I'm going to put lines. Okay. And it, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now this one, continue this way as well. All right, the next one. As we're coming down, I'm completing more of my drawing, darkening it up a little bit. Okay, now, as you'll notice in some of these, they have big, thick, dark, heavy lines that separate some of the patterns. So I'm gonna make one at the top of this one and color it in nice and dark. 
at yeah, the bottom of this one too. Color that all in nice and dark. Okay, so we're separating our patterns. All right, now this one, I'm gonna make half circles, almost like more like half ovals. And they're gonna come across like this. And then I'm gonna make some on the bottom too and they're gonna kind of match up. And meet in the center. But these ones are going to continue on because you can see them better. Okay. Like so. All right. There's my pattern there. I'm going to put a circle in all of these just like that. And then yet again, I'm going to put a thick, dark band of color here as I go down to separate the two the two parts okay like that now the next one darken the side again darken the side again and here we go now this one I am just going to make stripes And you'll notice that a lot of these vases have stripes. Okay, just like this. And then I will color those in. Repeating stripes, totally a viable pattern. Nothing wrong with that at all. I think I'm gonna make One more after this. Okay, one more here. And that'll be my last one that separates from my last pattern at the bottom. Okay, color that in nice and dark. Okay, now my final pattern at the bottom. This one I'm going to make almost like a checkerboard pattern. So I'm gonna draw a whole bunch of lines going like this. But then I'm gonna put two lines going straight through all of them on the sides. And it's gonna make a checkerboard pattern all the way across, just like that. All right, that's it. I'm gonna finish the sides on that one. Finish the sides on that one. Okay, yet again, I'm gonna put a thick band at the bottom. Alrighty. And finally, I'm going to make the bottom have nothing on it and be flat at the bottom because it's got to sit on something, right? If it's not flat, it won't sit straight. All right, there it is. Time to add the handles in. And you can also add patterns onto those if you want to. I am not going to. I'm just going to leave them as they are. Okay. And that's it. There is my patterns drawn now. You can color this in if you'd like to. I'm going to off camera so that I can go ahead and you can watch all this and it's a little bit shorter. And then you'll see it as I post it right next to the video. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and we will see you next time.